Hi everyone. This video would be about MetaMask wallet. So, cryptocurrency is much more than trading and mining. Hundreds of decentralized apps, also called DApps, are built and they are operating on dozens of cryptocurrency blockchains. With these DApps, you can do much more than trading and mining. Without using a centralized exchange to trade your cryptocurrency, you can use these DApps to swap your tokens, stack them, pool them, or simply even trade them. This all without paying much fees because you cut the middleman like a centralized exchange or a bank in between you and the trade that you did. For example, uh, in order to trade cryptocurrency on Binance, you pay hefty fees for every transaction, especially if it's an Ethereum network. Ethereum network is famous for its fees. They cost you between $20 and $50 for every transaction if you are doing it in Ethereum. But if you decide to use Binance Smart Chain instead, which is built on top of Ethereum, Every transaction you do on a Binance Smart Chain is a matter of cents, like 50 cents to one one dollar, nothing more than that. And not at all depends on the gas fees, which keep changing, but they are never more than one dollar. On many lending D apps, you can earn over 10% interest rate. On some D apps, you can join farms and stake your pairs. Farming pays you well over 200% to even 1000% APRs annually. Some D apps allow you to pool your tokens for gains and earn well over 120% between 200 and 100%. To do all of that and much more, you need a secure, reliable, and a plug and play kind of wallet which will just connect with any D app and it will let you make some money. The most famous ones, of course, are uh, Trust Wallet and MetaMask. In this video, we will explore MetaMask Wallet. MetaMask is basically a bridge between a centralized exchange and dApps. Before this bridge, you had to provide your private keys to your wallet in order to connect with apps and providing your keys is of course a very insecure way of trading. MetaMask and similar hundreds of wallets make it simpler and secure for you to connect with any DApp. Every time you connect, it simply asks for your permission. So the first step towards MetaMask installation is you have to open this website this is a MetaMask website. You don't have to download this from anywhere else because you can get a fake application which can hack your funds or your cryptocurrency. So you have to be very cautious about these things. So make sure it is spelled metamask.io and there is an HTTPS in front of it which makes it secure and trustable. So we can also confirm it from the certificate it has connection is secure. Once you are on MetaMask website, you have to click on download. For Chrome plugin, for Android or for iOS, whichever one you want, we can install that. For now, we're gonna go with a Chrome plugin because we do most of our trading on browsers. We'd go ahead and install MetaMask. We'll add it to Chrome. Now, the first thing MetaMask does is it will help you set up your wallet. You have to click get started. You have to choose between two options. If you have a wallet already with MetaMask, you can go ahead and recover it or you can set up a new wallet. We'll go ahead with create a new wallet since most of you will be creating it for the first time. This option asks you if you want to let MetaMask know 
about certain things that will help improve metamask per, uh, performance in the future so we would say no because we don't want to share anything between us and them uh, i want it private you have to choose a password for your new wallet you have to agree the terms and create the wallet now this is a very secret and special page you have to pay attention to this page this when you click on this icon it will show the seed phrase that is a bunch of words that in proper order will create a backup of your wallet so if you want to if you ever lose your wallet you can use the seed phrase to recover back so make sure you are taking a backup of these phrase words for me I, if i was you i would go ahead and print these words or write it down on a piece of paper and keep it safe forever so we'll go ahead with this and reveal this this is a seed phrase i'm not worried about this because i'm going to delete this wallet in the future i am not going to use it ever next i have to confirm this seed phrase in the same order so that i have to let them know that i got it right confirm all done now we can start using our wallet for any ethereum coin so you you can go ahead and close this to see where it is installed you can go to this puzzle icon and see your plugin installed here you can pin it so it will always be on top of your browser you can click this this is your account with this ethereum address you can copy it this is copied now and now you can do your trading here since we don't have any cryptocurrency here the first thing we need to do is transfer some eth onto this address if you want to do our trading using metamask on ethereum network but i would suggest we shouldn't do any ethereum transactions because of the gas fees that ethereum comes with ethereum is a very expensive network so you wouldn't want to do so many ethereum transactions unless you're earning in thousands of dollars an alternate to this would be as i have explained in my previous video to join binance smart chain and rather use that network for your cryptocurrency trading and swapping and all other activities because there are so many d apps built on top of your binance smart chain so in order to do that you need to add a binance smart chain network in the list of networks here so go ahead and click on this list uh, on top which says ethereum network once you click it you will see all the networks that are by default added into this wallet you have to click on custom rpc once you click on custom rpc it will ask you for network name new rpc url chain id currency symbol blockchain explorer url and you have to save it in the end so i'll provide you with this data you have to note it down so this is a setup for binance smart chain network you have to give a name to your network you have to provide an rpc url which is https colon backslash backslash psc dash data seed dot binance dot org this is a chain id 56 this is a default coin or token of binance smart chain bnb and this is where we'll go ahead and see the history of our transactions go ahead and save it i cannot save it because i already have added this in my list of networks once you add this you will see a binance smart chain added into this list like this one and you can go ahead and use this once you go to ethereum mainnet 
let's go to ethereum mainnet and see on this ethereum address we have no eth available and if you see it ends with 498f now if you go ahead and open the binance smart chain you will see the address remains same there is no change to the eth address because binance smart chain is also built on top of eth or ethereum so the address does not change but the network changes so once you send your e binance tokens bnbs to this eth address they will be visible in your bsc network that you just added just like this this is basically a representation of our eth or bnb on binance smart chain now we'll go ahead and see how we can transfer bnb tokens on metamask for this you have to go ahead and open binance.com and log in once you log in go to your wallet overview now if you don't have any bnb tokens go ahead and buy them using your credit card or whatever if you don't have a credit card link if you have any other token sell them in terms of btc or eth and then buy bnb for that once you have bnb if you see we have some bnbs so we'll go ahead and withdraw our bnb token we have 0.777 something and then we like to withdraw that to our bnb address so we can go ahead and copy our binance smart chain address from here which is the same eth address and we'll note that we have currently 1.1688 we'll provide our bnb address here and we'll make sure we choose this option make sure otherwise your funds will be lost but the safest option is to always transfer very limited amount just for testing purposes so since we know about this working fine i'll go ahead and transfer all of them and click submit here we binance smart chain is trying to ask me for my two factor authentication codes i'll go ahead and quickly provide them and we'll proceed with the transaction once we click submit we can see that withdrawal request has been successfully submitted we can go ahead and see our withdrawal history and see this transaction this is still in processing status we'll wait for it we'll go ahead and refresh this screen this shows is still processing we'll go ahead and check our wallet here we can see that it has already been transferred it might be waiting for some more confirmations but we can see our balance here so we have successfully set up a metamask metamask wallet uh, we have also added a binance smart chain network in our metamask wallet we have successfully transferred our funds into metamask wallet the next thing we'll do in our next video is we'll start using this metamask wallet on some d apps and see how we can easily connect our metamask wallet and do some transactions Thank you for watching.